the monetary policy has had multiple elements you know uh, the simplest of course is the repo rate at 4% and repo rate at 4% i think is still okay uh, uh, at least for uh, some period of time but uh, uh, what is what also happened during our response uh, to the pandemic was that the the repo rate uh, sort of became irrelevant uh you know the interest rate in the uh, in the money market today is not 4% which no. or anywhere near 4% which is what you would expect if the repo rate is 4 uh the entire money market is at uh, 335 or sometimes even lower which is where the reverse repo is so and what we have done is that we have had uh such an amount of liquidity in the system that interest rates have been driven from the repo rate to the reverse repo rate and even that is okay but during the pandemic we also widened this band uh to uh, you know from what used to be uh, 25 basis points to 65 basis points and we pushed uh, the uh, the entire market towards the lower end so what we got was really an easing not to a 4% uh, world but to a 335 world and uh, so the uh, uh, the core of my argument is that 335 is no longer is no longer appropriate uh, it is in a world in which inflation is proving highly persistent uh, and Uh, you know so uh, if uh, our inflation rate was uh, you know 6% in uh, 2021 and is projected to be you know 5.5 to 6% in 21 22 and is projected to be uh, more than 5 even in the beginning of 22 23 uh, it's very hard to call this a, a transient inflation you know if something mm-hmm. has lasted Uh, is it going to last for more than two full years uh, uh it is very hard to say that this is just a this is just a transient uh phenomenon and if inflation is uh, you know and if inflation becomes entrenched uh, then the consequences of that are uh, uh, are very bad you know and the fear that that i have which i have articulated in my statement is that uh, if the uh, credibility of monetary policy is weakened mm. uh, and if inflation inflationary expectations become very strong then those expectations have a tendency to become self fulfilling it becomes a vicious cycle that uh, uh, you know everybody expects there to be inflation everybody acts as if there is going to be inflation you know so um uh businesses will increase you know will will not be worried about you know giving you know having higher costs because they think okay the cost can be passed on and the consumer also pays those costs yeah there is inflation we can't do anything about it and that would be you know what an inflationary expectation if it becomes uh you know entrenched for a period of time then it the expectation becomes reality you know uh in a, that's why that's what you know the self fulfilling nature of those uh expectations now what what prevents those expectations from becoming entrenched and self fulfilling uh, is the credibility of monetary policy is the belief that monetary policy will will act quickly uh, to prevent that outcome now what i fear is that uh, if we have an open ended kind of uh, accommodative uh, commitment from the monetary policy committee uh, that weakens the uh, uh, the credibility of the npc and it allows inflationary expectations to become uh, more entrenched as a result and uh, then you know that uh, that's a vicious cycle with vicious cycle which we want to avoid and once that expectation has taken root 
uh, you know, it is it's easier to prevent those expectations from taking root uh, than to eliminate it once it has taken root. Once those expectations have been formed and everybody agrees that we are in a high inflation world, then to break those expectations will require much harsher, uh, much harsher monetary policy. And the view that I have articulated is that we should act now uh, so that we do not act, have to act too harshly in future. Mm. That, is the, that is the way that, I'm, uh, uh, that I see the, uh, uh, the options there. So that's mm. how I see it, mm. that uh, we should end the excessive accommodation represented by 335 uh, and try to maintain four, which uh, I have argued is still reasonable, uh, but uh, try to hold on to four for for longer, uh, rather than risk that inflation gets out of hand and then we have to, uh, you know, uh, go beyond four very very quickly and uh, and uh, harshly. That's the way uh, I visualize mm -hmm. the trade-offs. Mm -hmm.